Hey guys, Victor Chick, and yes, that is right, I did actually go to an event today, and I did get to hold, play, and just overall know and feel the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm going to tell you all about it. Mostly I'm going to tell you about the games I played, what I thought, and just the experience itself. I'm going to start off, or going to tell you my favourite games there, and kind of mention some features shown in that games, because I think it's most important, as it doesn't matter if your consoles aren't powered, it's the games that matter really. I mean, that's what I think, and I think most people would agree. So, let's start off with my favourite games there. Uh, by the way, these are all games I did play there, so you know, these are all the games I played there, and what I thought of each. So, we're going to start up with number six, which is... Now, this probably doesn't come as a surprise to you, but it kind of shouldn't. It's a really, really fun game, and, you know, should it be a launch title? Maybe. Is it fun? Yeah, and for the price here in the UK, £32, or 34 somewhere in that range, you get 28 mini games. Seems like a decent price, in my opinion. Uh, at the event, they were showing three games in particular, the ever so popular and the Nintendo employee said himself, weird cow milking game, the fast draw, which has been, sh been shown in a lot of ads recently, and also the checking how many balls are in a box, which really showed the HD Rumble feature. Overall, I really like the HD Rumble feature. It does actually work, and it's used in every game. You'd play Splatoon or Legend of Zelda, and you just feel that extra vibration, and they make the game ever more so enjoyable and realistic. I like one to switch and if you have the money to pick it up, I'd recommend it. I'm personally not getting it myself, I don't really have the money, but I feel like it be, could, could be a fun game, although I do understand that especially now as Snipper Clips has been told to be a release date, uh, launch title, I feel like that would be the bigger two player game, but one to switch can definitely still be cool and uh, will still, I think, sell quite a few copies as it's a launch title. But anyways guys, let's move on to number 5, which I don't think is a bad game, but there were a lot of good games there, and this one had to be put down on the list a bit. That's right, Snipper Clips. I think it's an amazing game. I played it and it really does challenge your mind and it's really fun. With Snipper Clips, we got to play it in the tabletop mode, which is actually the only game we got to play it with the kickstand out, that kind of mode there, and it was great. A lot of people have been saying that the screen is too small, but I think it's a perfect size, both for on the go or, as I found out, with Snipper Clips, tabletop mode. It's great, really. And I think Two people on a couch, on a bed, on just on a plane, in the back of a car, at a diner, restaurant, you know. But I think it would be great. Pull out the Nintendo Switch, give a control to two friends, and play it. It really does challenge your mind. It's a really fun, really innovative, and really creative puzzle game that is for all ages. And come on, it's going to be around £15, $20.00. In my opinion, for a launch title game, it's got to be a must-have. Now guys, we're going to move on to number 4, which I haven't actually played the first one of the series. I played the second one, and I really, really did enjoy it. The ever so popular. Now, don't get me wrong, it's interested me for a very long time and I've watched a lot of gameplay footage and it looks like a great game but I've just never gotten the chance to play it. Well, I guess until today, but that's the sequel. It was really fun guys. The controller, this is the one that, is the one game I actually got to use the Joy-Con grip and surprisingly enough also the game I have the most footage of 
uh, luckily enough. Um, but it was really, really cool. We got to try out the Splat Duelies, which I just had to try out uh, because that guy had the Nintendo Switch presentation. You know what I'm talking about. Seemed to be really excited um, about the Splat Duelies. It does look similar to Splatoon, uh, but I think it'll change it up, and I'm pretty sure it does have a single player as well, which I find really cool. Just to know that you'll be out on the go, you won't require Wi-Fi or you know any internet connection, and just play some single player Splatoon 2. That's what I'm looking forward to in the future, and I think it's going to be really fun. But not only that, to come home, handheld, or just have any internet connection, just play anywhere, on a really really fun game that really does feel amazing control wise with the whole gyro thing going on I really really did enjoy the game immensely and I've been wanting to play the first one and the second one looks very similar um, but I don't think it's like a remaster or such but it does look very fun and I'll be definitely picking one up I believe in summer of 2017 in my opinion, it's going to be a must-have game for the Switch. It's going to be one of the more popular multiplayer games, if not the most popular. And even if you don't have a lot of hope in it, you've got the Global Test Fire, which I know I'll be participating in. And if you're getting the Switch, you definitely should. It's free. There is no reason why not to. And it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Guys, we are now entering the number three with what I think will be my most played and overall the perfect game for a handheld console and I believe was kind of popularized or sold a lot for the DS. That's right, the amazing racing game that is. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is something like a game of the year edition of Mario Kart 8, which I also haven't played. I've never owned a Wii U and only played one a bit of a demo like what I did today uh, before the console itself came out and really enjoyed it. But Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was really, really fun. Being able to play this really cool looking, really fast paced game on the go I'm really, really excited to do and just have with friends and pass a, con a Joy-Con to my friends and we can both play again the kickstand out, set it on the table, give a Joy-Con and play. Speaking of the Joy-Cons, some people have been saying they're quite small in size, I found them quite comfortable and in something like arms with that vertical style was really, really cool and the motion controls really good um, but that's for another game of course but in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe I think it's going to be again a must have and it's not too far away just in April April 28th I believe and I know it's going to definitely be a must have I just see so many possibilities with having Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the go I think it'll be a lot of fun and it's going to be 1080p 60fps it's going to be great not that, re that that really matters, 1080p 60fps, but still, that's pretty pretty cool for this small console that you can fit in your backpack. And just to know it can achieve something like that is really, well, outstanding in today's technology airspace, I guess. But we're going to move on to number two on the list, which I've been anticipating for a very long time, and it really... I think will kind of bring something fun and competitive to family homes and maybe even to esports I wouldn't know but it's in the vein of something like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter that's right <laughs> legs I mean arms is a great great fighting game. I've been looking forward to it and as a big Punch-Out fan uh, both on the NES and on the Wii this looked amazing. I guess in the beginning I did wonder why didn't they just make a new Punch-Out 
but I think because of the one on the Wii, and just because they wanted to create a new IP, something new. And this definitely is something new. It might seem like Punch-Out, it might look like Punch-Out, but it's not. The controls, the game, much more competitive, it's much more, you know, you, you fight, you, you know, it requires more skill. Not that Punch-Out doesn't, but it requires more moves, more dashes, more jumps, more grabs. And it's really, really intuitive and really, really good with the Joy-Con controllers. So to give you a quick basics, you've got a couple basic moves, which I'm now going to tell you. You've got the punches, that's quite self-explanatory, simply punch. You also have the grab, you put both of them out, you grab the other player and he will be brought in and your character will give him a couple punches. One of the features is you have a special move, you press the two triggers and it kind of launches its fury or flurry mode, I don't remember and you just begin punching and it's kind of like this aimbot that starts target locking onto your character and I believe he can't do anything except he might be able to block or dodge a couple I'm not 100% sure on that but really it's like something like a competitive fighting game but in this new perspective and it seemed to be a really really fun game unlike the Nintendo employee there who told me about it he said it's not more of this frantic fury fighting game but more of a rock paper scissors kind of game and I can definitely see that in round two for instance of the game I lost round one to my dad I really wanted to win it back so I started looking at the way he punches what he's doing and really if you do pay attention you can definitely win your streak back let's say the guy curves you'll see him or dash or jump and you'll be able to quickly get in there and well get a K on, KO on him. So definitely, I'm very, very excited. Anything that's a punch, punching game or in the vein of punch out with motion controls, I'm hyped for and I am ready for. Guys, we're gonna go to number one, the last game on the list. And I think the third game I actually played on at the event and surprisingly, the game I have the least footage of but it doesn't really matter, it's this demo um, that was shown at E3 and you've probably already guessed it it's <laughs> You must save her, my daughter My first experience with The Legend of Zelda wasn't too long ago uh, I actually played The Link Between Worlds, which is my first one on the 3DS, and I really did enjoy it. It's a really fun game, and you really feel like it's a classic RPG, and in many ways Zelda did kind of start that RPG genre. The main problem I had with Link Between Worlds is that Breath of the Wild fixes right out of the gate is the beginning. I felt very slow. I became a bit bored, a bit tired, and I'm not sure if it was because of the plane that I was playing on or because of the game, but my head hurt as well. You woke up and this character's talking to you, tons of dialogue. You wanna you wanna go in the action with most games. And with Breath of the Wild, you go straight into the action, no doubt about it. You start the game, you've been woken up, I think Zelda's calling to you, and you're out. You begin searching in this cave or dungeon or cave system or whatever and you walk out and you've got all of Hyrule to explore it was a really fun game guys and for a launch title it's gonna be great everyone's gonna get it everyone should be getting it and I think it's gonna be a must-have easily even if you've never played Zelda it's gonna show you gonna bring you in to the franchise of Zelda easily now, in the Zelda timeline, it is after Ocarina of Time, but you can easily watch a quick YouTube video on the timeline of The Legend of Zelda, or go back, play some of the classics, the original on the NES, Ocarina of Time, Link to the Past, all these things, whatever's accessible to you quickly before March 3rd, in a week's time, and we can get our hands on this. I've already pre-ordered, I'm not sure if you have, but I can't be more excited. Nintendo have, might have messed up with the Wii U, 
but this looks like it's going to go in the right direction. We not we might not be getting a tons of game tons of games on launch day, but recently, as time has passed on, we've seen more and more. We've got Shovel Knight, Faster Armor Max, One Two Switch, Legend of Zelda, and just announced today that's going to have a free demo, by the way, on the eShop, Snipper Clips, and even then. If you're gonna get Zelda, that's all that's gonna be on your mind for at least a month minimum. It's gonna be amazing. I only played it for 10 minutes and I already wanna play much, much more. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching and I'm really excited. So do stay tuned on March 3rd when I will unbox it and just be able to play something that I've been looking forward to ever since the reveal trailer that was released in October. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video, and if you could please like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Guys, this has been Victor Chick, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.